So we assemble molecules, in particular the molecules with this type of uh, uh, pores inside, and we shape these type of materials not only for the solids like powders, but we can also shape it to uh, uh, soft materials like gels, fibers, and membranes. And using this hole, we trap the molecules, the gas molecules in particular, uh, for instance, CO2 from the air, and also the stored methane. But my group is more focusing on storing the uh, bioactive gas molecules and using these materials to deliver the gases into our body. And in the future, we want to use this as a gas phase drugs. Yes, so uh, we are experimental chemists, so we plan experiments before doing. And uh, of course, we are so happy that uh, our plan works very well. But sometimes uh, the nature gives us a different answer that means like our plan doesn't work, but shows something strange. And my group members sometimes come to my office and say, hey, something wrong or something happening. It was not expected. And that would be the quite interesting moment because this is a moment that we discover something new. And but afterwards, we have to really confirm by checking the literatures, doing so many other reference experiments. And finally, if we are sure that this will be very new, we write up the papers. And all the process we do together with my group members. And I'm enjoying this process a lot. We are good at uh, developing a new protocol to assemble molecules in desired shapes and desired sizes. Based on that, we have discovered a new phenomenon. But not only uh, assembling the molecules, we also assemble the people with different backgrounds, also different cultures, different research, research disciplines. And once we aim at the same direction together, I strongly believe that assembling the people from uh, different disciplines is uh, important to push the science frontier. Here in ISEMS, chemist, biologist, mathematician, and physicist, all of us are working together to make a new research field. And having said that, my group is also not only working on chemistry, but we're trying to use chemistry to tackle the biological issues. Therefore, we always look for students and postdocs who have a fear of curiosity and do not hesitate to challenge the new research field. We always welcome the young peoples with a fear of passions. <laughs>